we're asked to determine the gradient vector field of the function of three variables, then determine the gradient vector at the point two comma negative one comma negative one. The gradient vector field is often referred to as del f, which is equal to the vector field where the x component is equal to the partial of f with respect to x, the y component is equal to the partial of f with respect to y, and the z component is equal to the partial of f with respect to z. And looking at the given function, f of x comma y comma z equals e raised to the power of two x squared plus four y plus z cubed, we need to recognize we will need to apply the chain rule to find each partial derivative using our derivative formula here. We begin with the partial of f with respect to x, which is equal to e raised to the power of two x squared plus four y plus z cubed times the derivative of two x squared plus four y plus z cubed with respect to x, which is just four x, because we treat y and z as constants, which means the partial of f with respect to x is equal to four x times e raised to the power of two x squared plus four y plus z cubed. The y component is equal to the partial of f with respect to y, which is equal to e raised to the same exponent times the derivative of two x squared plus four y plus z cubed with respect to y, which is just four, because we treat x and z as constants. And therefore, the partial of f with respect to y is equal to four times e raised to the power of two x squared plus four y plus z cubed. And the z component is equal to the partial of f with respect to z, which is e raised to the same exponent times the derivative of two x squared plus four y plus z cubed with respect to z, which is three z squared. And therefore, the partial of f with respect to z is three z squared times e raised to the power of two x squared plus four y plus z cubed. And now we have the gradient vector field. We can determine the gradient vector at the point two comma negative one comma negative one by substituting two for x, negative one for y, and negative one for z. Notice the exponents on e are all the same. Two times two squared plus four times negative one plus the cube of negative one is equal to positive three, which means a gradient vector at the point two comma negative one comma negative one has an x component of eight e to the third, a y component of four e to the third, and a z component of three e to the third. And remember the gradient vector gives the direction of maximum increase of the given function, which means this vector points in the direction of maximum increase of the function f of x comma y comma z equals e raised to the power of two x squared plus four y plus z cubed from the order triple two comma negative one comma negative one. Let's look at this in space before we go. In this graph, the given point is plotted in black and this purple vector is a gradient vector and this purple vector indicates the direction of maximum increase of the given function from this order triple. I hope you found this helpful.